Ladies and gentlemen, I know it has been a hot minute, but we are back at it again. It is your boy A that's Aaron, and we're back again with another Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash video. And today, as you guys can see from the title and from the thumbnail, this is no clickbait. This is some actual for real stuff. We are going to be talking about the Shibuya Arc DLC and Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash because we have just gotten some news from a credible source. And honestly, we have a better understanding of how the, the Shibuya Arc DLC is going to work in Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Curse Clash. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for real. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bruh, I miss making the JJK content. Without further ado, let's get in the video, shall we? So ladies and gentlemen, we are here to talk about the Shibuya Arc DLC and Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash. If you guys did not know, the last official paid DLC pack they dropped was the, uh, uh, oh man, was a Premature Death uh, DLC. And that's when we were able to get Toji Zenin, Team Satoru Gojo, and Team Suguru Gato. And then of course, after the paid DLC, we got free DLC, such as my girl, um, we got Mai, we got uh, the girl with the broom. Sorry, I'm just bad with the names, y'all. It's just a little bit tough for me right now. I'm not even lying to you. And so on and so forth. So we got some free DLC characters on top of the paid DLC character. And they're still adding to the roster. Now, we're going to be talking about the Shibuya Arc DLC. So, a credible user from Twitter. And I'm going to put the screenshot up on screen with their at. Who has been followed by a numerous gaming accounts that have also been credible. Basically, bro dropped a tweet saying, Pay DLC Shibuya Incident for the home video game Jujutsu Kaisen Senkaku Soran, which is what they call um, Curse Clash, uh, will be released on November 21st, and the characters they're going to be having will be Nabito Zenin, Mei Mei, and Chozo. We're going to get three characters on release for the DLC pack, right? So whenever we click on the article and talk about it in specifics and understand the specifics of it, it's just there and it basically restates that it's gonna come out November 1st, 2024, which honestly is very interesting because at the time of this recording, it's gonna be like, it's right now about the 7th, the 8th, and so the fact that we're gonna get the DLC in like three weeks time, or correction, two weeks time, is very wild. No promotion, no nothing. I think that's crazy. But the specifics of the DLC says the following. It's just the Shibuya Incident content. We'll get three playable characters. Then we're going to get a picture drama additional scenario. Some costumes and some customizable items. Some yen. And that's basically what we're going to get with the DLC. Now if you do not believe me. We even have pages such as Shonen Games. Uh, confirming and retweeting the content that this person just posted and then we have another account that is very credible um basically the anti plug media which also confirms the same thing about the dlc so it does seem like we're going to get ourselves the shibuya arc dlc in curse clash that i i, I really do think we're going to get it on november 21st right and the reason for that is because Dragon Ball Sparking Zero was the biggest thing since sliced bread, I don't think they wanted to take the chance of trying to compete with said game, and so that's why they took their time to let it do its thing before they mount, announce something else. Because honestly, if we do the math of the DLCs, we are due for some DLC for Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash. And even if you go to the official YouTube page, they still have a video hidden, which means that they have not released the hidden video and they have some content just sitting in the bank. You know what I'm saying? Doing this thing. Now, for the next part, as you guys know, like I just mentioned, with this DLC, we're going to have three characters, Chozo, Mei Mei, and Nabito Zenin. So it looks like Shibuya Arc is going to be cut into two parts, right? It looks like it's stopping specifically before Megami summons Maharaga, right? Spoilers for those who have not seen Season 2. If you haven't seen Season 2, you should watch it, right? But yeah, it looks like we're going to be splitting it into two parts, right? So, of course, we're going to have Nabito Zenin, Mai, uh, Mei Mei, and Chozo. That all happened, I want to say, before Megami summon Maharaga. So then there's some other characters on the table that may be playable. Like, for example, my boy Dagon. He seemed like he might be a nice, viable option as a character. Maybe he might come out as free DLC in the future, but I can see him like that. But I do think our last free character is going to be Mechamaru, because if we have the right Mechamaru, 
it will be able to fill in that last gap before the Shibuya incident for us to have at least a complete roster in, in the small chance they animate the Shibuya Arc DLC with 3D models. And like I said, I think it's going to be a part one and a part two. So I think with part two, that's when we're going to be getting characters like Mahito's transformed form. Or we get uh, Megumi with Maharaga. You see what I'm saying? Stuff like that. We'll probably get ourselves a new Gato, which is going to be Kenjaku, right? Just some examples of stuff like that. And then we'll probably get some cool new joint attacks like with Toto and each door is Boogie Woogie, so on and so forth. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we have here today. Um, honestly, I'm very excited because you guys know me. I love Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash. That junk is my ish. It's the bee's knees. And I will try my hardest to bring the content back to the channel because I enjoyed it so much, ladies and gentlemen. So let me jump in. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Are you guys excited for the DLC? Just let your boy Aaron know. Until next time, peace out.